Glory to Jesus Christ. Today we'll be reading the gospel for the Sunday of the Prodigal Son, uh, the second preparatory Sunday before Great Lent. Uh, and the gospel is from Luke's gospel, uh, chapter 15, verses 11 to 32. And then we'll read some selected text from the Lenten Triodion from Matins uh, for the Sunday of the Prodigal Son. So first we'll read the gospel and then the text from the Triodion. Then he said, A certain man had two sons, and the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of goods that falls to me. So he divided them his livelihood. And not many days after, the young gathered all together, journeyed to a far country, and there wasted his possessions with prodigal living. But when he had spent all, there arose a severe famine in that land, and he began to be in want. Then he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country. And he sent him into his fields to feed swine. And he would gladly have filled his stomach with the pods that the swine ate, and no one gave him anything. But when he came to himself, he said, How many of my father's hired servants have bread enough and to spare, and I perish with hunger. I will arise and go to my father and will say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before you, and I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Make me like one of your hired servants. And he arose and came to his father. But when he was still a great way off, his father saw him and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. And the son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in your sight and am no longer worthy to be called your son. But the father said to his servants, Bring out the best robe and put it on him and put a ring on his hand and sandals on his feet. And bring the fatted calf here and kill it, and let us eat and be merry. For this my son was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. And they began to be merry. Now his older son was in the field, and as he came and drew near to the house, he heard music and dancing. So he called one of the servants and asked what these things meant. And he said to him, Your brother has come, and because he has received him safe and sound, your father has killed the fatted calf. But he was angry and would not go in. Therefore his father came out and pleaded with him. So he answered and said to his father, Lo, these many years I have been serving you. I never transgressed your commandment at any time, and yet you never gave me a young goat that I might make merry with my friends. But as soon as this son of yours came, who has devoured your livelihood with harlots, you killed the fatted calf for him. And he said to him, Son, you are always with me, and all that I have is yours. It was right that we should make merry and be glad, for your brother was dead and is alive again, and was lost and is found. And then we'll read some texts from the Lenten Triodion from Matins about the prodigal son. O Jesus, my God, has the prodigal now accept me also in repentance. All my life I have lived in carelessness, and provoke thee to anger. The divine wealth that once thou gavest me, I have sinfully wasted. I have departed far from thee and lived as the prodigal, O compassionate Father. Accept me also now as I return. Open thy fatherly embrace now and accept me also as the prodigal son, O most merciful Lord, that I may glorify thee with thanksgiving. Our Savior teaches us every day with his own voice. Let us therefore hearken to the scriptures concerning the prodigal who became wise once more, and with faith let us follow the good example of his repentance. With humbleness of heart let us cry out to him who knows all secrets. We have sinned against thee, merciful Father, and are not worthy ever again to be called thy children as before. But since thou art by nature full of love for man, accept me and make me as one of thy hired servants. As the prodigal, I have wasted the riches which the Father gave me. I have spent them all and now am destitute, dwelling in the land of evil citizens. No longer can I bear to live among them, but turning back I cry to thee, merciful Father, I have sinned against heaven and before thee, and I am not worthy to be called thy son. 
Make me as one of thy hired servants, O God, and have mercy upon me. And then the last text. O loving Father, I have departed far from thee, but forsake me not, neither reject me from thy kingdom. The evil enemy has stripped me and taken all my wealth. I have wasted like the prodigal the grace given to my soul, but now I have arisen and returned, and to thee I cry aloud, Make me as one of thy hired servants, for my sake on the cross thou hast stretched out thy sinless hands to snatch me from the evil beast and to clothe me once again in my first raiment, for thou alone art full of mercy. And this is the gospel for the Sunday of the prodigal son and text from the Lenten Triodium. Glory to Jesus Christ.